Hey everybody, welcome back. So I sold that painting for $270 or something like that. And now apparently there's a hipster meeting. So the hipsters want to have a meeting with me to discuss my rising popularity. Um, this game does not cease to pull any punches though, that's for sure. Still, while I am waiting for the hipster meeting to come together, I guess I'm going to look up the screen because that is the next thing that people are suggesting that I do. So, uh, again, that, this one, this one ought to be relatively easy to do in this MS Painty stuff because it's like very um, expressive, so it's not super, super uh, drawn in. Uh, what's very, f or blended, I should say. What's really funny is that when I Google image search the Scream, the, it, the, it recommends to me, like, The Scream by Vincent Van Gogh, and then I'm like, ouch, that's, uh, that's pretty painful. So, uh, one technique that I do know about painting is that you really want to go background to foreground. You want to layer things up so that stuff that's <coughs> in the background is stuff that you do first in your painting, and you put, and you put things that are closer to the audience uh, closer to them or uh, uh, later on yeah you know what I'm trying to say uh, things that are closer to the audience you put uh, you do later so that it's layered the the physical paint layers are set up so that you don't uh, have to paint over uh, things because it's a lot harder to put um, to fit something in to the background around something that's in the foreground, you have to repaint a lot and you have to go over things that you already did a whole bunch. And that's super duper shitty. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the background first and then I'm gonna paint up the actual like screamy boy in the, in the foreground. So we kind of got a couple little cloudy layers in, in the background here. Uh, mostly gonna stick with the same kind of flesh tones that I was working with. I guess these these warm tones over here are, are what constitute the flesh tones of this painting. So, or uh, the palette that's given to you in this game. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stick with those if I ever, if I'm ever compelled to actually paint, God forbid, a person in this, in this horrible, horrible MS Painty ad adventure that, that I'm embarking myself upon. Uh, I'm gonna kind of half-ass this, uh, the sky from this point forward. I'm just gonna layer a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of colors up here and let that be more or less what it's going to be. I don't want to spend, like, a shit ton of time just doing the background there. So we got two bros in the back and they're kind of, like, looking out across a railing. Uh, I kind of did the angle on these rails wrong, but that's okay because I can paint over this like pretty easy so, uh, I'm not going to go into too much more detail at the moment because I need to do uh, more background. So we got uh, the river So we'll do that sort of stuff and The river thing kind of comes up like over here So it looks Roughly that sort of shape and we need to put in a little bit of like yellow like groundy stuff I guess and Then the river the this is like really dark. So that's about as dark as that's gonna end up getting So we'll do that and then we'll do We'll bring the darkness down all up over this stuff All right, so we have a bunch of uh, in the background anyway. Lastly, we have a bunch of green stuff on the right side, which I guess constitutes the <laughs> ground, <laughs> I guess. And now we'll we'll start pulling in the railings that I was doing earlier. So we'll just take a big streak and we'll go across like so. And we'll do another streak across like so. We'll decrease the size and then take some black like this and my art teacher would at this moment be like you should never ever shade with black it looks really bad and she was right but um, I'm playing a video game so screw it <laughs> the only the only dark colors I really get to work with are this black so that's what I'm gonna roll with 
Maybe we'll put in some of the C behind the railings there. And we need to now draw the dock. So we'll do that. There's like some big old red streakies. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. And <clears throat> last but not least, let's put in some some brown as well on the boardwalky thing. And we can now put in our our uh our, our screaming our screaming man. So we are out of colors to do it in. So we're gonna make the screaming man purple. So that's the darkest purple that you get. <coughs> it's not very it is not very dark. <laughs> but it is uh it is what I got. So we'll do that. And uh, he's kind of, he's super duper wavy, so we'll do, we'll make it as wavy as we possibly can at least. And we have another little arm segment over here. I'm going to distinguish this with like just a little bit of black line. Uh, and then we need to add in our uh, face tones, our flesh tones here. So he's kind of like this, and he's kind of like this, and my brush is way too small, so that ended up looking really scratchy and bad, and we'll bump that up just a little bit. There we go. And obviously, we, we used the same color for this background uh, over here as we did for the face, so I'm going to just take the, I'm gonna take the black, or the blue, and we're just going to... We're gonna we're gonna reclaim a little bit of space there. Okay, uh, le let's add in the defining facial features. These are way too thick. There we go. And it kind of looks like that. <laughs> Boy, that looks fucking phenomenal. Just exactly like the. It is a spitting image. Okay, let's uh, give him a little bit more of his neckline back there, and let's see, what else can I can I do? Um, we're gonna we're gonna give him give him moves. We'll do that, and yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so. That's, uh, that is the scream. It kind of looks like instead of being the scream, it's more like these people are yelling really loud and he's like, fuck, I can't think. There's too much, too much noise around here. God damn. All right. Regardless, let's, uh, let's put that one up for sale. Let's give it a lovely little title. Uh, the scream is by Edvard Munch. So we're gonna call this uh, Edward Butt Mun Munch's El Screamo. <laughs> and uh, there you go, there's a beautiful work of art there. Edvard Butt Munch's El Screamo. Okay. <laughs> Get out the way, I gotta see your shit. Hey, $338. Or euros or whatever they are. That's uh that's doing much, much better. Okay. Uh seven hundred and six cash. I'm doing well. Alright, the next request that I had was for um let me pull it up. Uh let's just see. Ah yes, yes, yes. So uh the next request that I had is uh is oh shit what up here come dat boy so let's make dat boy uh happen we're gonna start with the unicycle and we're gonna just throw that down here i'll need to make that a little bit more circular so we're gonna i guess i'm gonna need to i'm gonna need to paint everything white first to give it the proper mimetic background let's add in the unicycle That is way too big, so that's obviously not going to fly. 
I, I need to I need to plan my space out very very particularly here because I don't have a whole lot to work with and I don't want to I don't want to use like tiny piddling little brushes though otherwise it'll take me a million years to get it done uh, we'll do something like that that's probably roughly the right size and then we have a uh, a smaller band around the unicycle like so we're gonna have a bunch of spokes Uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll add in the circle part, and then, yeah, okay, so something like that. Looking, looking like a, lo looking already, you can really feel the oh shit, uh, flowing through, strong and steady right now. So he has a little bit like that. Oh, actually a little bit punk coming through the back there as well. And we need to add in a bottom there. We also have, a, have to put in a little bit of the of the reflections and the highlights there, so we'll just throw in something like that. Uh, now we have the seats. Um, something roughly like this. Most of this is going to get painted over, but I'm going to block out as much as looks reasonable. <clears throat> and this is also uh, leather, so it's got a little bit of reflection going on there. Now for... The the actual showboating man that we're all we're all dying to see. Here come Dat Boy. Uh, we'll we'll start with the darkest color. And we'll do that. Darkest green that I can muster anyway. So he's got one leg like that, and he's got one leg like that. And he's got a big old thigh. And another big old thigh like so. Uh, we'll also need to put in this crotchal region, and this is probably as much Dat Boy as we're going to actually be able to see. Uh, which is actually fine. It's like weirdly artistic, right? To, to have Dat Boy, uh, it, like, you're focusing on, like, parts of Dat Boy, but you don't see all of Dat Boy. So it feels a lot more, like, artistic, like high art we got going on here. We'll add in some, uh, highlights. <coughs> and, uh... Let's add in a little bit of uh, mid-tone to his torso up here. We'll do that. Looks good. And we'll, uh, let's see. We need to we need to erase part of this back, actually. There we go. And we need to have a little bit of arm start coming through. So we'll do, let's do, drop the brush as much as possible. Uh, before it gets too small. There we go. That's not too scratchy. And we'll we'll add in uh, that arm. And we'll add in that arm. And we'll do that. Now this gets very, very dark here. So we'll use the black actually to trace in some more of that arm there. And now we'll add in uh, the mid-tones on the upper part of the arm as well. Add in that part. Actually, make it like really shiny there. Uh, what color is this? Yeah, this is. This is probably roughly the, the the right spot to block in that part of his body. Add in a little bit of the black part right there. Cool. So this is the the hood. Uh, this is roughly uh, Dat Boy. Well, we got a lot of we got a lot of space over here, so obviously we need to add in um, a little uh, a little flavor text. So we'll do. Okay, good stuff. Um, I think that more or less sums up Dat Boy. There's, uh, I didn't give myself enough room to give you a full Dat Boy, but I, it's, there's something fairly artistic with the way I cropped it, at least. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and feel happy with that. I wonder what this other tool mode is. Oh, 
Looks like there's a, uh, I can use either a paintbrush or I can use a air airbrush, which is really interesting. I didn't know that that was uh, in this game, so we'll need to check out what that's all about soon. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do, what, what should we call this? How about, um, oh crap, it's that fellow. How are you? How are? <laughs> there we go. I think that's a good good enough name for that one. And uh, let's see. There's probably enough time in this so to do one more painting. Well, let's see if anyone buys it. 382. That's good. We'll definitely go for that one. All right. Uh, I want to see a bird original next. Uh, someone has taken notice of Passepartout's activities. Very interesting. I'm moving up in the artistic world. A bird original, eh? Well, uh... I will do... I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I will do instead is a self-portrait. So, give me one second to get ready on that one. And we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll... Hang on. Why won't it... Why won't it do? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I was gonna do uh, a self-portrait of the character in-game, but I can't get a good shot of his face. I'm still gonna commit to doing that idea. So we're gonna we're gonna do Passepartout as I recollect how he looks. So uh, first off, let's uh, put the entire background in black for right now. Let's uh, let's put in some some of the dark green. So Passepartout's face basically looks like this. Uh, yep, something like that. And then we're going to give him a big, doofy face like that. Passepartout has, if I remember right, he's got like big old eyes hanging out the like sides of his face. So we'll, we'll give him one eye like that. Give him one eye over here. Let's add in the pupes. And Passepartout's got like these weird lines going through his cucumbery face. So we'll do that like so. And then we need to give him a beret. So we'll do, oh, he also has like red cheeks. So we'll give him, we'll give him the splotchies. Give him, give him them splotchies. Let's uh, now add in his beret. So we got to do that. And we got to do that. And he's got like a poof ball on the top of his hat or something if I remember. So we'll do, just a little touch right there. And he's got a, a smock, which is white. It's also covered in paint stains, so we'll just do that. And we need to give him splotchies. I want to see what the airbrush does. Oh, God. Ugh. That does not work very well with the tablet. I think that... Um, I think that with a tablet, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, convey the right like uh, mouse information, so you just get like this weird uh, splotchy mess that doesn't really work very well. So that seems weirdly way better than I thought it would turn out. It uh, actually conveys his likeness kind of well. So um, that's uh, that's. That actually turned out quite nicely in a very unexpected, unusual way. Let's also give him a little bit of, like, a trim to the bottom of his hat there. There we go. Yeah. That's, uh... That's good-looking Passepartout. Does he have a nose at all? I don't think he does. But... Well... I guess in my version... He doesn't have a nose, so... 
Uh, I also should probably give him a little bit of highlights here and there to, uh, yeah, just something like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Maybe a little, like, dash of white as well. Maybe, uh, some reflected light back over here. And lastly, we probably want one more, one more, like, hard line through his face like so. Okay, yep, that, uh, that really got the job done. So last but not least, we need to add in a badass sun up in the corner. <laughs> this one, this one coming at you from the other side because you can never tell which direction the sun's gonna be coming from. And uh, we're gonna give him some bitchin' shades. And we're gonna make them like all reflecty. The sun, uh, a little bit happier, apparently. Uh, a little bit less round, too. There we go. There we go. That's looking good. <coughs> and this sun, unlike all the other suns, is going to be smoking a cigarette. Because he's cool. So we'll do that. And then we'll probably call this one done. There we go. So, pass for two as a friend in all of us and that is the smoking ass sun uh let's also give him a penis ass just because i want i want passport 2 to remember where he came from his humble beginnings with the penis ass the weirdly sad like decent looking um doodle there <laughs> Okay, we'll call this one Passport 2. And let's see if we get any buyers on it. How am I doing on the MUNs? $476. I am, I am doing well at this game, weirdly enough. I actually, I'm just now bothered to take in the, the fact that my, my, uh, it's Rent Baguettes and Wine is my uh, <laughs> weekly 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 uh bill there so we'll uh we'll have to cut this one here and that was uh that was really really fun so thanks for watching